Hey everyone, on this video of Proof of Make, we'll be taking a look at Cardano. Cardano is the blockchain currently powering the cryptocurrency ADA. It promises to bring smart contracts as well as a high throughput into a proof of stake system. The developers have promised an innovative new approach to blockchains, including a two layer system that where one layer you'll have your smart contracts and on the other, you're going to have your actual transaction. Cardano claims to be driven by the scientific process as well as academic rigor. We'll be sitting down with Mike to take a look. All right, this is Cardano. All right, okay, let's take a look. Yeah, Cardano is a new blockchain that's hosting the ADA token. Um, and what's the what's special about the ADA token? The special thing about the ADA token is that it's on Cardano. Okay, and yeah. Cardano is supposed to be like really fast. Yeah, Cardano, they're saying because they're separating their smart contract layer from their transactionary layer, as well as being a proof of stake chain, it's going to be much faster. So how, I see this thing that says data list. How, uh, that is their wallet. Yeah, it's it's kind of the wallet, but it's also sort of the control center for interacting with, um, with the Cardano chain as well as with ADA and transferring. It. So can we take a look at that? Yeah, let's take a look. All right, so here's the Daedalus wallet, which is the wallet that will be the main place to access all of your tokens, do your staking, as well as take care of any other business you want to handle on the Cardano chain. Um, you can right now you can do basic send, receive, transactions, change your settings, and as well as kind of. Do all the things you expect from a wallet. It reminds me kind of the uh, Mist wallet back in the day. So we're just going to do a quick little in one wallet to another wallet transaction. Take a look at what it looks like to do a, a uh, send of Cardano on Daedalus. Um, so I'm going to just set up a send from test wallet 2 to set test wallet 1. Here we go. All right. So paste the address here. And then I'm going to send myself 50 ADA. And we can kind of see how it feels to use this blockchain. And then I'm going to type my spending password. And send. So you see right now I currently have 400. I'm sending 50 from this wallet. So it's currently pending. And while we're waiting, one thing to keep in mind when you spin up your Daedalus wallet, you actually have to get the full chain. So it can take a little bit of time. Uh, this took me about three hours um, on Wi-Fi, and it had a couple of errors. Another thing you can do with your Daedalus wallet is create a paper wallet, which is, say, PDF. And then the PDF just kind of looks like a pretty normal paper wallet. It has some cool visuals on it. And continue. So you can see it has a neat graphic on it and the Daedalus uh, logo. And then you actually have, they have this double security measure you use where you actually generate these on your computer and then write them into the back of the wall, which is kind of cool. You set your language, different themes, if you're into that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's see if our uh, Cardano went through. So right now it's considered low. So what this low means is that it's a low one confirmation secure transaction on their blockchain. And here it's now been medium. So it went through relatively quick. It takes some time, but I think the network is definitely looking at having more improvements. And this is, yeah, this is definitely where all of the staking will take place. This is where all the maintenance and everything else for interacting with the proof of stake system when they implement it. So that was the Daedalus wallet. And we should also probably talk about Ouroboros, which is their provably secure proof of stake algorithm. Um, that has been peer reviewed by academics, and that's one. That's one thing that we I hear a lot of academics. So yeah, there are lots of stuff about academics. So the, the the thing is, and I heard about this earlier. They said that you know they took a very scientific approach. They started in 2015. Right. They had this peer reviewed by a lot of scientists, a lot of academics. Yeah. Every step of the way in the roadmap, you can see it where they're they're talking about um, that everything they're doing is being vetted. It's being looked over. Um, that they want to make sure the theory is sound on everything. That so this is an interesting looking roadmap. What's going on here? Um, right now, on the left side here, we can see what they've done, and here is what's active, what's going on right now. Okay. And so this, um, so Cardano has smart contracts, right? Um, the Cardano smart contracts are on the way because they actually have to create an entirely new layer of blockchain in order to create the smart contract. So if you go down here, so it's down here. Okay. Smart contract deployment and interaction. It looks zero percent. So they haven't really. So okay. So smart yeah, yeah. So it's really later. Really, okay. Yeah, I, I think it's it's going to be a pretty big protocol expansion. Um, but I mean, before that, they're they're looking at doing kind of multi 
currency trading on their blockchain. Um, also, like similar to like Cosmos and yeah, it looks like they're going to have the interop space for sure. Okay, um, and, and then you know, like they're talking about the partnerships. See this up here, Byron, Shelley. What are, are these people or yeah, the scientists and philosophers? I mean, Byron, Lord Byron. I mean, it's called the Ada token. So Ada Byron, the creator of uh, computer science, Does it stand uh, for Byron. something in particular or yeah, these are the kind of you know how in Ethereum there's like Cas not Casper but uh, like Constantinople. And oh, like the and releases. The, the release phases. So they, the Byron's one, Shelley, Guggen, uh, Basho, and Voltaire. Okay, so they're trying to go to Voltaire. They're yeah. trying to make it over to Yeah. Them. So Voltaire is like, Basho and Voltaire is kind of like their serenity, where everything's going to be awesome and perfect. Got it. Okay. And um, all this is open source? The, this was created by a group called Input Output Hong Kong. Oh, no, that's a... That's a yeah, it's real a, pretty. It's very pretty. Interesting, yeah. Yeah. Um, and if you go to the GitHub... You can see that they have over 134 repositories. Okay. But the thing to remember is that because this is for input output, not necessarily for Cardano itself, you have a lot of Ethereum Classic. You have oh, a, so the creators so of this have worked on a lot. They've worked on a lot of different things. Um, however, like Cardano SL is the main um, protocol that they use. So this is how you actually spin up a node via the Daedalus wallet. So if you build the SL, what you get is actually the Daedalus wallet, which is similar to kind of how Mist was for Ethereum. Back this then. is proof of stake blockchain, right? Um, right now, it's not, but they're looking to put proof of stake in here real soon. Okay, so you'll be able to stake at some point. Yeah. Okay, so who are the validating nodes, et cetera, that actually make the blockchain run? The validating nodes are actually the users, because when you create a dateless wallet, as we looked at before, you're actually, you have to get the entire chain and you're acting as a validator. Okay. Um, as for somebody who's handing the stakes, because if we, look, if we look at Cardano's block explorer, you can see here that the Cardano chain doesn't use blocks. We use something called slots, which is a similar theory to what we've seen in Casper, which is that you have different proof of stake people choosing when blocks should go in based on whatever slots they have. So Cardano has a, a ways to go, but they seem to be surrounding themselves with a lot of the academic community. And I think that it's something definitely to watch. Yeah, definitely.